Hello everyone, and welcome to the second week of February 2022 Railfin Updates and Announcements. First we have an update on the Boston and Maine 3713 restoration. I will provide the link to the full update in the description box down below. Next we have a fundraising update on Klondike Mines number 4. This 262 Prairie type locomotive is located at the South Park Rail Society in the small town of Como, Colorado. The society is raising $19,000 to cover heavy repairs of this locomotive. There is a link to a GoFundMe page for this locomotive and I will include that in the description box down below. Next, the Arizona State Railroad Museum Foundation has acquired a Minnesota U-Boat Rebuild SF-30C diesel locomotive. This unit was originally numbered as 9501 for the Santa Fe Railroad and was built in 1973. Also, the foundation hopes to break ground its Arizona Railroad Heritage Park later in 2022. The next announcement is from the Steam Rarity Institute and FMW Solutions. FMW Solutions will assist in the extensive running gear work on Pier Marquette Railway number 1225. This will be the most extensive running gear work for the locomotive in over 70 years. Another big announcement is on the Buffalo Creek and Gully number 4 steam locomotive. This locomotive used to operate the North Carolina Transportation Museum for their excursion trains in the late 1980s and throughout the 1990s. It has been sitting at the Cass Scenic Railroad since 2015 and will soon be next in line for restoration. The first major step of this restoration is to build a brand new boiler for it at Sisterville Tank Works in Sisterville, West Virginia. Now the Durban and Greenbrier Valley Railroad needs your help to raise $300,000 to complete this restoration. I will provide the link to donate in the description box down below. Our last announcement is on the fundraising of former auto train car number three. Florida Adventures and Railroading Incorporated is raising money to relocate the car to Florida. Once this freight car is back in Florida, it will eventually be restored to its original auto train corporation appearance. This project also has a GoFundMe page where people can donate. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy the content you see here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. That's all for this week. This is Transcontinental Railfan, out.